everyone so I am finally back it's been about a month now since I've posted a video which is just totally crazy and I apologize over and over again um, I just had a lot of stuff going on my videos more consistently I'm going to try and do at least like three to four videos a week that's my goal I also changed my hair it's actually coming off a lot lighter on camera I don't know if, if it's because I don't have natural light right now um, but I did put highlights just in the top I know it kind of looks like I did a lot to it but I really didn't it's just I kept a couple highlights throughout the top um, and I actually really like it. it's very soft and natural that's the kind of um, like hair color I always try and go for um, and it's just really pretty so let me know if you like it even if you're not the type of person to comment on videos usually leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of my lighter hair um, but anyway this video is going to be my fall loves tag I was tagged by Bethany MacBarbio 7 she is amazing she's one of my favorite youtubers and um, she's tagged me before and I get so excited when she tags me um, I feel special because she's like really big so yeah she tagged me to do this tag she tagged me to do this tag and um, yeah I'm going to do it today and then I'm gonna do my September and October favorites next because I obviously miss September and October is almost over so I'm gonna combine the two because I have tons of products to talk to you guys about which is really exciting and by the way I'm using a backdrop I'm gonna be using this probably for the next month or so um, I just bought it today actually and it's the prettiest fabric fabric I don't know if you can tell but it's like metallic I don't know if you can even tell but it's huge like it takes up the whole entire wall and I only paid two dollars for it at the fabric store today I didn't know fabric was so cheap so excited to be back so yeah I'm kind of nervous though too like I haven't been in front of the camera in like over a month so I feel nervous and I feel sweaty because I have two really hot light bulbs shining on my face right now okay anyway I'm just going to start the tag. There's 10 questions and I have them on my phone. Okay, the first question is your top five fall makeup items. And I'm going to start with what I'm wearing on my lips because I love this lip gloss. It's just a lip gloss, no lipstick, nothing else on my lips besides this. It is a Stila lip gloss. Um, it's one of the darker lip glosses that I own and it's called Cherry Pie. And it's not a full size one, it's just a little guy. Um, but this is how it looks. It's really pretty. It's really pigmented as you can tell on my lips. That's all I have on. And it's just a really pretty fall color. I would never wear this really during the summer. I've, I think I made a whole video on this lip gloss set one time, like one time, like when I first started my YouTube channel. Um, so that is number one. Um, second, I've talked about this item before, but it's a really pretty fall blush slash highlight and it's a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Petticoat. The reason I really wear this during the fall is because it's kind of like raspberry in color. Okay, the lighting is like really bad in here. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, the lighting is really bright and I don't have natural light right now, which totally sucks. Um, so I hope you can see the colors. I guess this is like phase one testing of new recording area. I don't know. Um, so let me know what you think about the lighting in this video. So that is my second favorite fall item. The Petticoat Mineralized Skin Finish. So pretty. I actually have swatches on my blog before um, if you want to see that. Um, okay, the third is, I actually have my third and fourth items are eyeshadows. They're so pretty and they're so fall appropriate and I wear them all the time. The first one is this one right here, which is Amber Lights by MAC. So pretty. And the second one would be Coppering, which is this one right here. They remind me of like the leaves when they change and stuff like that. So I love both of those eyeshadows. If you don't have any MAC eyeshadows or you're looking to get some new ones, I definitely recommend Amber Lights and Cop Ring. They're so pretty for the fall. Um, my fifth favorite makeup item is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and I have been wearing it every day. I'm not kidding you for since I've gotten it. I've already hit pan on it. It is the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is the regular version. This is like a little mini one. I, I have to go buy the full size version, but I got this little mini one like in a set. And this is the um, shimmery one, but it's barely shimmery. It just kind of gives you a glow. My nose is runny. Um, and it's amazing. I wear it every day. It's a gorgeous bronzer. I wear it on my cheeks just like a blush, uh, but it's beautiful. So those are my top five fall uh, makeup items. It kind of you know, eyeshadow, cheeks, brush, blush, bronzer, and lips, kind of like a full face of items. Just really pretty colors, so I would recommend all of those. Okay, number two is your favorite fall hair product. And since I have lightened my hair a little bit, um, it does dry it out just a little bit. I definitely um, take into consideration, you know, not frying my hair. I want my hair to be um, healthy and stuff. And anyway, the point is I always ha I've always had natu naturally frizzy hair, and my favorite fall product, probably just because I've lightened my hair right now, um, 
is this. It's the Sexy Hair, Silky Sexy Hair Frizz Eliminator Light. It's for fine to normal hair. This is what it looks like. It's the light version um, because I don't have super thick hair. I mean, it's not um, thin, but it's not super thick. This stuff is amazing. If you have any kind of frizz to your hair, you have to get this Frizz Eliminator. It seriously works. I love the Sexy Hair brand. Whenever I talk about hair products, I always seem to mention this brand and they've been so good to me and sent me so many products and when my hair is wet and um, then I just blow dry it and it's like zero frizz whatsoever so it's amazing I love it so 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 much okay the next is your favorite fall nail polish um, I couldn't pick just two and these are probably not that um, fall ish I don't know um, one is I just swatched this one on my blog or I did a nail of the day post on my blog polishandpearls.com so check it out I'll have that link below but um this one is Essie Ladylike. It doesn't look that pretty or special in the bottle. Maybe I should hold things over here. It's just kind of like a mauvey, taupey kind of color. But on the nails, it's so, so pretty. And um, yeah, I did a nail of the day post with this, so I promise it doesn't look that special in the bottle. And this is a new color from their... Um, I forget the name of the collection, but it's just a really pretty color. So I will link that blog post below if you want to see this on my nails. Gorgeous color. Um, it should be in stores now because it's a new collection, so I would recommend that polish. And then also the color that I'm wearing on my nails right now, which is from the new OPI Muppets collection, which is so amazing. I bought tons of those polishes. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway because I bought extra goodies for you guys, and um, I don't know if I'm going to do like a haul or something because I didn't get that many, but such a pretty collection. Um, and this one is called Designer De Better love it it kind of reminds me of Oralee's Lee Rage it kind of looks like that but there's actually like um little orange flecks in here you probably won't be able to tell maybe you will I don't know um but it's a really pretty like foily gold color with little flecks of orange which I think makes it perfect for fall okay the next question favorite fall scent is the next question um it would definitely be the one that I'm been currently wearing every single day. Sorry, I just have to smell. It smells so good. It's um, Victoria's Secret Supermodel Perfume. I love this stuff. It's amazing. It's one of my all-time favorite scents. And it's a little bit spicy. Um, not so much like fruity, so I think it's a great fall scent. You have to smell this one. I don't think it's like, it's not that popular, but it's always been a perfume that I've had in my collection at all times. When I run out, I get a new one, so... I absolutely love that perfume. It smells so good. My most worn clothing item or accessory is scarf in my lap. I actually just got this from Hot Look or Hot Look. Um, it's not that fall. I guess it kind of looks more spring, um, but it's just so pretty and so soft. I love it. It's so pretty. It's just such a feminine girly scarf, and I love it to pieces. Um, yeah, I got this on Hot Look. I think it was like $12, but it was normally like 80 or something really expensive. I don't even know. Um, I just think it's really pretty. I know it's kind of like springy, but it's a scarf and it's the scarf that I've been wearing like all the time. Kind of like, yeah. And now on to the five random fall questions. Um, number one, who is your fall style icon? My fall style icon would probably be Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Um, I love seeing pictures of them and following blogs that post about them. They're just very, they wear lots of layers, which is very like fall time and stuff. They're just gorgeous. I think they're like beautiful girls and I love their style. I know sometimes they can look a little too layered or too baggy and stuff like that, but um, I absolutely love their style. To a corn maze, what do you wear? Um, I actually think I'm going to a corn maze this weekend, which is going to be a lot of fun, but normally I would think to wear like jeans, riding boots, and like a sweater or a cardigan or something, but I think it's going to be like 80 or 90 degrees here. I might wear jeans with like sandals and a tank top or something, like something casual, but it's going to be hot, so I can't wear, you know, my riding boots and a sweater or cardigan, which is what I would ideally wear. That's what I picture myself in, like, the perfect fall weather, but it's really hot here still. My favorite Halloween movie? My favorite Halloween movie would definitely be Hocus Pocus with um, Sarah Jessica Parker and um, I forget the other actresses' names, but that is my all-time favorite Halloween movie. It's not a scary Halloween movie. Like, I guess it could be scary if you're super young, but um, it's just a good movie, and if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. It's kind of old. Well, it's really old, but it's like the best Halloween movie ever. My favorite Halloween candy would be Snickers. I love Snicker bars. I don't really eat them, but I know when I was like younger and would go trick or treating, that would be my favorite thing ever to get would be Snicker bars, especially when someone would give you like a big one. Yeah. Um, what are you going to be for Halloween? I was thinking either an Indian or maybe um, 
like a pilot girl. I don't really know. They really know what I'm going to be, but what are you guys going to be? Um, leaves what you're going to be for Halloween in the comments down below because I need some help and some suggestions. I'm doing my favorites video um, next, so stay tuned for that. And my consistent videos will be consistent again. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And also subscribe to my vlog channel if you want to see vlogs. It's Miss Jen Vlogs. I'll link it down below. Um, it just made partner and I'm going to be doing like a lot of follow me around vlogs and stuff and I was thinking of taking the camera to the corn maze and stuff like that so yeah if you want to see vlogs go subscribe to my vlog channel and check out my blog polishandpearls.com for like nail of the days and jewelry posts and I'm actually going to start incorporating um like fashion posts and outfit of the days on my blog polishandpearls.com so stay tuned for that and thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to Bethany for tagging me I love her um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you guys very soon and